Hi guys. Can we talk iodine? People are always asking, what nutrients do I need to supplement? How do I get this? How do I get that? Well, I'm not a doctor and I don't play one on TV, but done my research sharing with you, just like I always do. So iodine, how do we get it? Where does it come from? It comes from the sea. Now, a few years ago, before I went plant-based, I read all these articles that Himalayan sea salt was the best because it had all these trace nutrients and minerals. Okay, so I bought into that and I used that for a long time until I went salt-free and realized that it was the salt that was making my fingers and knuckles swell up and my arthritis and all that inflammation in my body and then I gave it up, okay? So back to the Himalayan sea salt. If you think that that has iodine in it, you're wrong. How do I know? Nutritionfacts.org. Look it up for yourself. Dr. Greger does a really good job of educating us, okay? So no iodine in Himalayan sea salt because it's really not from the sea. I don't know why they call it that. Some just say Himalayan pink salt. And that would be more appropriate, okay? So if you're not salt free, you really don't have to worry about it if you're using just a regular iodized salt. And they've added the iodine in there, okay? But I can't use this. Still buy it for my family because they're not salt free. They don't have that arthritis and inflammation. So I've cut down the amount of salt because I don't cook with the salt anymore and they just salt their food at the table. And Dr. McDougall says that's fine to do. I trust him. Now, you can buy a light salt if you just want to cut down your sodium. And this, of course, would have iodine in it as well. Now, how much? Let's look. On the back of the label for this one, this has 57 looks like grams but it's not quite grams I don't know what that symbol is but anyway 67 which constitutes to 45 percent of your recommended daily allowance okay so 67 and this one under iodine has 40 percent of your recommended daily it doesn't tell me the actual grams or micrograms or whatever it's supposed to be so this gives 45% of your daily allowance. This gives 40% of your daily allowance. What do I use? Dulse flakes from the sea. So this has the iodine naturally. It's not added to it like this is, okay? Does it give a fishy flavor? It's a sea vegetable, yes it does. However, a small amount in a big pot, and you know I cook a big pot of food at a time, doesn't give a fishy flavor, but it does give the iodine. How much? This one under iodine is 330% of your daily recommended iodine. See how I said a small amount in a big pot of food gives you the iodine you need without giving that fishy flavor. So, do you want 45% of your daily allowance and all that salt and sodium? Or do you want something natural that'll give you 330% of the iodine? Now, according to Dr. Greger, you need iodine three times per week. So just a teaspoon, three times per week. So just, you don't have to use it every day. So pay attention when you're, when you're cooking and and you're putting all your ingredients together, what spices do you want to add? Just incorporate some of this in three times per week. I get it off Amazon. I'm in a little rural area and we just don't have anything like this at my local grocery stores, but I get it off Amazon. It runs me six or seven dollars for a bag like this and this will last me. See this bag, still a little bit left in there. That's a year. That's lasted me over a year. So I've been plant-based for 12 months and I didn't start out with this. So yeah, 
this has lasted me a year and I've still got plenty down there. Okay, so not a lot of cost, a lot of benefit, three times per week. Check it out for yourself, nutritionfacts.org. Have a good day, guys.